Good morning dear children. Welcome back to our English literature class. Children, today we are going to do the revision of chapter after 20 years and the poem going downhill the going downhill on a bicycle. First we will uh, start the revision of the chapter after 20 years. This chapter, uh, uh, you all know very well uh, what is the um, summary of this chapter, isn't it? And uh, uh, who is the author and uh, what the story is about. Uh, I hope you all know this uh, chapter. But again, uh, very briefly, I am going to summarize this chapter. Dear children, uh, the author of this uh, story is O. Henry, who was uh, whose pen name was uh, William Sidney Porter. Uh, he was an American sh short story writer. His short simple stories are noted for their careful plotting, ironic coincidences and surprise ending. He was born in Greensboro, North Carolina. He went to Texas in 1882 and worked at various jobs as teller in an Austin bank and as a newspaper man for the host and post. Children, the setting of the story, that is the place where uh, the story revolves is on a business avenue of New York, uh, Big Joe Brady's restaurant 20 years ago in the doorway of a hardware store. And the timing is 10 o'clock at night. Here we go, the chapter. After 20 years by O. Henry. After 20 Years was first published in the anthology The Four Million in 1906. The story revolves around Jimmy Wells and Bob. They grew up in New York as very close friends. They however choose different paths in their life. Bob leaves New York to go try his luck in New York while Jimmy decides to study in to stay in New York itself. Before they parted, they agreed to meet after 20 years on the same day and same place that is at Big Joe Brady's restaurant where they last see, saw each other in order to ask each other who is more successful. Okay, The story opens with a police officer walking around the empty streets of the New York in the evening to do his patrol. Okay, children. The cop, that is the police officer, then finds a man standing in the doorway of a hardware store. On inquiring, the unknown man tells the cop that he is waiting for an old friend, Jimmy Wells, who he had promised to meet at the very place 20 years ago before going to West. Then what happened uh, with the torchlight, the cop notices uh, the man uh, is having a pale face, a scar near his right eyebrow and sharp eyes. The policeman uh, also notices this uh, diamond scarf pin uh, which made him think that uh, this man is rich. When he pulls out, when he pulls out uh, his diamond studded watch to check the time, the policeman comments that he must have done really well in the West. Then what happened? This man, he assures the police officer that if his friend is alive, then he is definitely going to show up and he wishes that his friend has succeeded in achieving at least half of what he has achieved. The policeman then goes away and the man keeps waiting. After a few minutes, a man arrives and introduces himself as Jimmy. The man who is waiting for long is now revealed. He is Bob, who appears happy to find his friend. Bob notices that uh, Jimmy has changed. In fact, he was taller than he remembered. In response to this, Jimmy says that uh, he grew a bit after 20 years. Jimmy afterwards insists that since the old restaurant where they had 
uh, last meal their last meal together 20 years ago is not there anymore so they uh, thought to go to some other place so they started to walk on the street as they pass the street uh, street uh, by because of the street light bog looks at his friend's face and says that he th though 20 years can change a man his in his many ways but it really changes the shape of a man's nose Bob becomes doubtful and therefore he asks the man next to him whether he is Jimmy or not. To this, to this the other man replies that he is not Jimmy and that Bob has been under arrest for the past 10 minutes. He tells him to come with him quietly and hands him a letter which says Bob I was at the place on time. I saw the face of the man wanted by the Chicago police. I did not want to arrest you myself. So I went on another cop and sent him to do the job. Jimmy. So uh, in the letter, Jimmy explains that when uh, he arrived at the destination spot and realized that his old friend Bob was the criminal that police were and that the police were on the lookout for him he did not have the heart to arrest him so uh, instead he sent a plain clothes officer to do so so the story ends with bob reading the letter of jimmy the most interesting part uh, uh, of the story is that the irony of the story isn't it the irony of the story? The irony is that the policeman who asked Bob what he was doing, why he was here, he is actually his friend Jimmy. Bob couldn't recognize his friend initially and went on explaining uh, that he was waiting for a friend. This is the characteristic of O. Henry's writing that the ending are marked by a sudden turn or shock both the character and to the reader. In this, after 20 years, basically focuses the reunion of two old friends, Jimmy and Bob. Through their brief encounter, the author explores the theme of friendship, loyalty and trust. Friendship is the heart of the story. Bob in this story seems to be genuinely enthusiastic about meeting his old friend Jimmy. He speaks glowingly about what a great friend Jimmy was and relays that he has travelled across the country over a thousand miles to see him again. Bob's punctuality in keeping his meeting with Jimmy perhaps best demonstrates his loyalty to their friendship. Even Jimmy appears to respect their friendship. He turns up at the appointment time to see his old friend and finding that his friend must be arrested. He leaves because he is emotionally incapable of performing the arrest by himself the children the story however does not throw light on the nature of the friendship between these two men but it does present same implicit assumptions about friendship for example the power of friendship that can last for decades the story also suggests that friendship can be powerful enough to make a criminal like bob sentimental as he takes risk to fulfill the promise he had made to his friend and along with friendship comes duty and responsibility which form an integral part of the story. There is perhaps no doubt that Jimmy loves his friend and respects their friendship but his responsibility to the law talks, takes precedence and therefore he arranges to have Bob arrested though his emotional bond is still strong enough to prevent him from making the arrest for arrest himself. So from the story children we can come to know that the theme of the story is loyalty to friend versus, versus uh, devotion to duty. So uh, children having Bob arrested Jimmy Wells chooses his public duty as a police officer over private uh, loyalty to his old friend while Bob has achieved greater success as a criminal that Jimmy has as a patrolman his life of crim crime ultimately leads to his arrest so children this is all about the story uh, that is uh, uh, about the lesson after 20 years uh, children go through the chapter thoroughly read 
uh, read each and every single line uh, single line each and every line of the chapter children next i'm going to uh, give the summary of uh, the poem going downhill on a bicycle the poet of this poem is henry charles beeching and uh, he was an english clergyman author and poet he was educated at the city of london school and at balliol college oxford he took holy orders in 1882 and began work in liverpool paris he later became dean of norwich he gave the clark lecture in 1900 on the history of lyric lyrical poetry the central idea of the poem is the central idea of the poem is uh, it brings out the value of hard work the fruit of success can be tasted only after hard labor we can enjoy the pleasure of downhill if we have worked hard to go up hill while enjoying the fruits of hard labor we must be watchful here uh, the poet talks about how he waits at the top of the hill in anticipation of anticipation of accelerating ride and then he starts rolling down slowly uh, when his his bicycle picks up the speed and the wind rushes by he feels like he is flying and compares his joy to the freedom of a bird in a flight this ride downhill aids him or helps him in understanding the sense of independence that flying provides but as the joy ride comes to an end when he reaches at the bottom of the hill he realizes that all hills end in a valley but if one has the determination to climb a long hill again he will be rewarded with a joyous flight the poet mentions how he lifts his feet from the pedals and keep his hands still so that he would not lose his balance and fall off the bicycle when it is dashing down the hill so children in this poem uh, you will feel the experience of a young boy who is riding a bicycle from a hill he is coming down from a hill and uh, the ex whatever the experience he is uh, he felt he is sharing with you in the first stanza uh, the child or the boy has lifted his feet a little up from the pedal and his hands are still that is fixed on the bicycle and he is ready to let the bicycle go down and he is totally confident confident he is saying that i am coming from uh, hills and so my speed is little fast that is why i am having heedful mind that is i am attentive i am having attentive mind i am very careful while riding the bicycle and i am enjoying also and at the same time i am attentive also the air goes by in a wind he says uh, that uh, uh, what he is saying he is saying that i can feel the speed of the air in the wind okay so he is feeling the air he is feeling the wind then in second stanza he is saying that he is enjoying the ride like anything uh, this the speed is increasing his hands are fixed and he is very attentive but he is enjoying this bicycle ride his lungs laughs means he is laughing he is enjoying so that his lungs have started peening that is it's filled with air and he is enjoying the bicycle ride and at the same time he points out the bird and he is saying to the bird that uh, he too is flying like the bird in the third stanza the boy is pointing to the bird and saying to the bird that dear bird tell me one thing uh, you also fly and with this speed of bicycle i also feel like i am flying because the bicycle is moving constantly and uh, he is asking the bird that is this your best joy is this your happiness then the child is saying uh, the boy is saying that this is the golden moment for him because he is enjoying or he was enjoying the life that the bird enjoys uh, it's this all it is saying to the bird okay it's he is saying that you have your feathers you have your wings you fly you are free you fly freely anywhere you can go you fly at a high speed so today uh, today is a memorable day for me a golden moment for me because i am also enjoying the same type of ride that you do 
in the fourth stanza uh, the boy is saying that is there anything he is asking that is there anything in the world as wonderful as this bicycle ride he is saying he is comparing this bicycle ride with other uh, whatever uh, happiness or whatever joy is there it's at, is he is placing this bicycle ride at the mo- top okay so he is saying that this bicycle ride is the joyest is the wonderful thing he ha- is do- whatever he is doing is the most wonderful thing he is doing okay it is uh, he is saying that it is even better than skating and uh, uh, you know now in state skating uh, our shoes remains tied to the ground uh, with the shoe of steel okay so he is saying that this bicycle is more exciting than skating now uh, the child the boy uh, now when he was coming from the hill he was very fast isn't it but now he has reached the bottom of the slope his speed has suddenly reduced and now he is where now he is where now he is floating and that means he is on the plane and he feels that he is on an airy boat now as soon as he has come to the plane he has to stop his bicycle because his ride is almost over so uh, now he has to put his feet down on the pedals of the cycle and he has to pedal again because the wheel of wheels of the bicycle slowed down now in the last stanza what the child is saying what the boy is saying he is saying that he is now he is missing here yeah, alas means alas means uh, it's a kind of sad sadness now the boy is boy is saying that those people uh, sorry uh, he what he is saying he, he is saying that uh, he is missing the previous ride that he had that means when he was uh, coming down he was very happy and that ride he is missing right now when he reached the bottom of the hill the boy is saying that for those people who want to enjoy their ride they have to work a little bit why why they have to work a little bit because they have to climb the mountain or the hill they have for if they have to climb the mount hill they have to ride the bike if they have to ride the bicycle to the top they have to uh, ride on something slanting uh, isn't it that means uh, from top to bottom when we have to go we have to use more energy isn't it so the boy is saying that if you want to enjoy this ride you have to work a little bit hard and you have to climb the hill and when you climb up the hill wings will be waiting for you that means the same enjoyment that he had while rolling down the hill that same enjoyment will be waiting for you that means if you wo- work hard you will receive a reward this is right is the poem of a young boy who is expressing his joy over the bicycle ride that he has started from the top of a hill and finally when he came down he feels sad and tells everybody that if you want to enjoy the ride you have to work a little bit more to or to climb you have if you want to climb the hill you have to work hard so uh, this is all about this poem dear children uh, so Uh, go through the go through all the uh, both the uh, chapter that means poem and the chapter after 20 years uh, read all the read the chapter thoroughly and the poem thoroughly okay